Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to hide and unhide some user data controls. So let's get started. We're going to use Python, but it's really basic, so don't worry. Let's now start by creating a null object. And inside this null object, we need to go to user data, manage user data. Right here, Let's create two of these ones. The first one will be a boolean and let's change the name to on. The second one, it's okay like that, but let's change the name like this. All right, we now have all these two. The first one will be to hide and unhide the second one. So the next thing that we need is to know the ID from these two user data. Let's go back to manage user data. Select the first one and the ID is one. And the second one, ID two. Okay. Now, let's go to the null object, right click, scripting tag, Python. Let's delete this one right here and the other one. Let's go back to the second line and in here we are going to put from C4D import GUI. Okay. In this area we need to put the object that we want to get and the container from the user data. So let's hit enter twice and tap. I'm going to use the name null. You can use any name that you want. Equal and the script will start with this. Up dot get object parenthesis. Make sure you put capital G and capital O right here. The second one will be the container. I'm going to name this one H1. Equal. This container is inside the null. So let's put null dot get user data container and parentheses okay let's hit enter twice and tap now let's continue with for desk id id comma container in the container is in h1 so h1 column enter twice and the next one will be if desk id capital i bracket one dot id equal equal in here you need to put the number from the user data that you want to hide this one is number two so let's put two column hit enter twice and now let's put if the null bracket c4d dot id underscore user data comma and here you need to put the first user data id which is number one one equals equals and right here we need to put it if this one is going to be on 
or if going to be off. For this one we need to use 1 as on and 0 as off. We're going to put 1 column. Enter and let's continue with container bracket C4D dot desk underscore hi and in here equals true make sure you have everything in line you need to move this one a little bit like that so it's in the same line that like this one hit enter again and let's put the null again dot set user data container parenthesis desk id comma container and close the parenthesis which is like that all right we are almost done now let's select all this one and copy and paste it right here just make sure that it's in the same line that the other one that is above this one we need to move this a little bit and everything is in line now let's change this one to zero and this one to false let's try okay and we need to change this one to low lower cases like this and now let's try execute and let's see okay it's working all right now if you want to hide this one but unhide a different user data you just need to create a new one Let's change the name. Live on high. Change it live for this one. Okay, now we have three. The first thing that you need to do is first to add a new container. So let's copy all this one and put it right here and change the name. I'm going to put this one like H2. Okay, now let's copy all this area. Hit enter twice. Let's move and paste. First, make sure everything is in line. This one is not. Then we need to change the name, which is right now H2. The user data that we want to hide will be the number 3. And in here, we need to change this one to 0 and the other one to 1. And let's see. Execute and try. Okay. As you can see, you either have one or the other one. All right. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Bye.